Welcome to another great episode of the Homegrown Hunter TV. I'm your host Steve Elmy and on today's show I invite you to the Rackstacker Farm where I'm going to be training my pup that I've been spending a lot of time with in the field lately. Releasing chuckers on my farm throughout the summer months. Now that it's fall it's time to put his nose to work and show him what a pheasant hunt is like. <laughs> Welcome to another great season of the Homegrown Hunter. That's a good way to create a trail, eh? Makes things easier. It's called a wing tuck. All we're trying to do is give ourselves five to ten seconds to get out of the way before she takes off. It's kind of disorienting. doesn't hurt the bird at all. It's just one of the things that if you were to let her go normally, she would just flush and you'd be screwed. So this just gives us a little bit of time. She'll wander around and that'll allow the dog to pick up on its scent. So just tuck his head under his wing like that. Just disorient him a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Maverick is a five month old Corthel's wire haired pointing griffon. They originated out of Germany and France and is quite a rare breed here in Ontario. The first time I ever hunted near one was in 2009 down on Pelee Island. A couple of French fellas had a pair of them and they were absolutely awesome to watch. As he gets older, he's only going to get better. He just jumped it the other way. That light tone that you hear in the background is actually coming from Maverick's collar. It's a special type of collar for pointing dogs from a company called Dogtra. It's a 2700 T and B. It's got several different settings so that it can beep twice if he's on point and once so you know where he's at in this tall cover. Good boy, Maverick. Here. Here. Good boy. Good boy, man. Good boy. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy, Mav. Oh, 
cold. Cold, man. Did you get it? Did he just... Here. Hold. Hold. Stupid thing won't jump. That's what I wanted. Good boy, Maverick. Good boy, Maverick. Look that. There. Good boy, Maverick. Good boy, Maverick. See? See? Five months old. Actually, today. Five months old today. He's awesome. If I can try and get those pheasants to act and shoot. <laughs> Homegrown Hunter TV is brought to you by Rackstacker, Canada's leader in big game attractants. Campbellford Chrysler, a small town dealer with a huge inventory. Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. Bishop Lake Outdoors, first place trailers. Kent Cartridge Canada. Nature of Design Signs and Graphics, Woodland Mills, and these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the Homegrown Hunter. No missing, eh, Steve? <laughs> no pressure. Do you do a lot of wing shooting or no? No. I duck, I do woodies. Woodies in the... Um, like a timber? A lot of timber? Yeah. That's pretty wild. There we go. Steve, I'm gonna shoot. Oh, nice shot. I'm now joined with a lot of great friends. It's the new year of 2024 and I've got Maverick with me at my side. As you can hear the whining in the background, he was extremely excited to get after these birds, but I had him on a leash. I just didn't want him to get overexcited, but it got to the point where I wasn't willing to listen to it anymore and I let him go. And boy, did he have a ride. Hey. What's so funny with that delay, you, you, you hear the third shot, the bird's already falling, but mm -hmm. it was probably the third shot that actually hit it. Yeah. Trying to figure out how far to lead them. There's one. That tree's only 25 yards tall, yeah. right? So those birds are just, just over that, right? So they're, they're only 30 yards up. You're probably wondering why there's so much shooting going on. Well, there's 10 different stations, and as the birds fly out of a central tower, we have the opportunity to shoot them as they go by. Later on in the afternoon, we'll take the dogs out for a cleanup hunt after lunch. There's 190 birds being released, and sometimes there's four or five that actually fly out at one time. So you're gonna hear multiple shots and they're not at one bird on film. We only got one camera guy circling around showing everybody's successful shots. Starting to figure it out. Yeah. Beauty. Good girl. Ella. Good girl. What do you got, sweetheart? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
<clears throat> Stretch on him, eh? And he's got the dog. Yep. <laughs> Joe did a beauty shot and you're filming the dog. Yep, of course. That's the way it goes. <laughs> Having a good working dog is important when you're running the fields like this. You don't want to be tromping around trying to find them. Let them use their nose. Heads up. <laughs> nice, shot. nice shot. Closed captioning brought to you by Woodland Mill, a Canadian premier forestry products company. We got killed by that one bird that landed right between us. Hey, fucking see that. That's <laughs> awesome. And now, this week's Cut to the Chase segment, brought to you by Rackstack. Sixty cameras now. Good boy, yeah, pick it up, good boy. 
We're grabbing a quick bite to eat and it's back to the field to do the cleanup hunt. We're really going to put the dogs to work and it's really going to be nice to see Maverick do his thing because he's gotten a lot better over the last couple months since the first time we started shooting with him. Oh, he got him. Grab your hold. Hold! Hold! Hold. Hold. Good boy, get him. <laughs> Hit him. Good boy, Maverick. <laughs> Headshot? It is my signature move. <laughs> awesome. That was good, man. I enjoyed that. That was fun. That's why if you had the rope, just like you could. Every time the dogs hold, somebody's shooting. <laughs> <Yeah. Three shots. laughs> that was actually good though, because yeah. he didn't. He looked. But he didn't bolt for it, right? No, oh, he was, he was, that was good, man. I really liked that. I was afraid he was going to jump right off the bat and grab that bird again. Yeah. He, he was awesome. Rock solid. And then you hear the gunshot and his head twitches. Like, oh! That would be the downside to Storm when they're asleep like that. She just grabs them and brings them back to me. Yeah. That? I was afraid of that because I did that they're at home nice and eating. he jumped on it. They're nice eating because there's no pellets in them, but. Yeah. <laughs> good boy, man. Good. Oh. Just on the outside and the other edge is already head up. He's running. Wait a minute. Hey, that looks like my turkey. Go on, boy, Maverick. <laughs> I had a turkey go on, boy, Maverick. Oh, oh, to the of it. You're proud of that. See, now it's not moving. Good He's boy. like, ah, it's mine now. <laughs> what do you got, Mavi? Go on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Hey. Do you see it, Steve? Get him! Where is he? Oh. Air chicken. <laughs> this week's tech tip is brought to you by Banks Outdoors, distributed in Canada by Rackstacker. So you, you, you do this, yeah. and then you just do that? Because yeah. that's the way the bird was laying. Okay, it's laying good. No. On the side like that. Okay. See it? Oh, so the body weight's on its head. Yeah. You see the, the head is under the wing, and the, the whole thing is down. Ah, I see, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's harmless, harmless for the and, bird. And you know, if it's, if it's, Pull their legs away, you know, you get to yeah. the bird they stay long. <laughs> hey, no prohibition. I'm now back at home and I'm getting the birds all cleaned up, ready for the smoker. If you missed last week's episode of the Homegrown Hunter TV, you can check our website out at hghtv.ca or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We show you how to prepare the meal for the big smoker that we have and we were smoking the meat to get extra flavor in what we call tortilla soup and we're going to show it to you here shortly. In the dead of winter it can certainly be cold out but I've got something that will warm you up inside and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Last week on the episode of the Homegrown Hunter TV, we actually smoked a bunch of pheasant that we had shot at the Exeter farm. So we're gonna take you inside where my wife has prepared the meal and we're gonna show you the ingredients to make yourself what we call tortilla soup. 
Peel apart the pheasant after doing your smoking and put it into a chicken broth. Bring it to a full boil and the ingredients you're going to need is black beans, one or two cans of diced tomatoes depending on your liking, and a can of whole corn. The spices that I like to use are chili powder, cayenne pepper, and cumin. After bringing the pheasant to a boil, add a can of corn, your diced tomatoes, and if you like a lot of tomatoes, you might want two smaller cans, and then your black beans. Believe it or not, this is actually a very wholesome and heavy meal. Mix it thoroughly before adding the seasoning. This is when you add the cumin, the chili powder, and cayenne pepper. Mix it well and bring back to a boil. When it reaches your desired temp, it's time to serve. I like to have mine with crushed tortilla shells on top and mix it in. It makes it extra flavorful. Enjoy. For past episodes, be sure to check out HGHTV.ca. Until next time. Thank you.